So the reason the Research and Development Center is down here in Puerto Rico is to conduct what we're calling Operational Demonstration Coqui. The Op Demo is a culmination of two projects uh, that have been running for several years. We had one element looking to integrate uncrewed systems with the cutter fleet and another project looking at pushing uncrewed aircraft systems beyond visual line of sight. So we combined the culminating field events of both of those projects into this operational demonstration. So the vessel behind me is known as 2-6-RDC. Uh, it's been outfit with an optionally crewed conversion, so it can be operated by a crew. It can be maneuvered with a remote helm, or it can operate with no one on board with autonomous collision avoidance. The sensors on board are networked so that uh, crews ashore can make use of that data and provide it to other assets participating in the mission. So off-site, uh, members that operate the 26RDC are able to see a full situational awareness picture for navigation in uh, electro-optical as well as infrared cameras. They're able to investigate targets with the radar and auto-slew the uh, FLIR camera based on that radar picture. They can program waypoint missions with the collision avoidance activated. Uh, they can operate manually uh, and we can even do some uh, teaming with other uncrewed assets like uncrewed aircraft systems. Having an unmanned system be able to go out on the water where you have anywhere from three to six, maybe even seven or eight foot seas that you would have on a small boat, people aren't going to get seasick on a UAV. People aren't going to get uh, tired on a UAV because they're back on either the bigger ship that has a little more stability or back on, on land where they're not dealing with the elements, dealing with the sea state. another means that the U.S. Coast Guard has out on the water, whether it be for search and rescue, law enforcement, pollution, uh, numerous of our mission sets can be utilized uh, out in the water for all the, the operational commanders out here, uh, both in Puerto Rico, but also in the States. Operation Cookie is, is very important because it allows us to test capabilities and advancements of new technology that's out there that the Coast Guard isn't currently operating and allow us to find efficiencies in things that we're already doing and ways that we can do them better. Technologies like these will advance the Coast Guard forward, will provide opportunities for new recruits that are interested in these technologies, and will help grow the Coast Guard moving forward.